Okay, now as a follow up to my previous video on using your calculator to calculate the values of phi, I am going to do some more examples where you have different values of phi. For example, on your part A, you have phi of minus 0 0.06. Now, what you are trying to calculate here is the area to the left side of the normal distribution. Now, of course, your calculator is capable of doing that too. You go again, go to menu, you press seven, go to the normal cumulative distribution. Again, you can insert the lower as minus 10. Press equals two, go to the upper and insert minus 0 0.06. Press equals two. Sigma is always one for a standardized normal distribution and mu is always zero for a standardized normal distribution. You press equals two and your calculator can calculate this probability and tell you that P is equals to 0 0.4761. Now, since I am an A-level maths teacher, if you are an A-level maths student watching this video, remember that on your exam, you need to show a sufficient amount of working. So on your exam, what you need to do is, first, you need to convert this into a positive value of phi. And then what you're going to do on your calculator is again, go to more menu, go to seven for a normal CD, there's minus 10, and instead of, instead of minus 0 0.06, you now put a 0 0.06 because you need to show me a sufficient amount of working on your A-level exam. Okay, the other two values remain the same and you get one minus 0.5239. Then you go to the normal mode of your calculator and you subtract one minus 0.5239. Nine. And you have the same answer. 